go walk around the village a little bit and just go talk to some of the moms and see how it goes. <laughs> what are we going to do? Check up for maintenance job. You know, the heart of God is is one of a father, you know, and he looks at these people and he sees his, his children, his kids, you know, and he longs for them to be restored to himself, he longs for them to live in peace and justice with one another. When you walk into Fijian home, everyone is just like so happy to see you, you're like instantly family, everyone calls you, you know, their son. <laughs> It's very hospitable people. So for Christmas, yeah. my my family back home in my church, yeah. they want to do something to help me. Jesus. We could fix all the luba. Yeah, I was thinking about that. Yeah, we should do that. I think of the story. Genesis when you know Abraham and Sarah send Hagar away with her son Ishmael and they're out in the desert and they have absolutely nothing and Hagar reaches this point where she just breaks down and she's just in total despair and she sits her kid down and she goes you know a couple hundred yards away so she's a good distance away from you know from her son and she's just crying there in the wilderness and and God comes to her you know and, and he says look I've heard you know, I've seen the tears of your son. I think the word that, that comes to my mind is the word compassion. You know, um, you know, in Exodus chapter 34, when God introduces himself to Moses, he says, I'm the Lord, I'm the compassionate and gracious God. The, the most simple definition of that word means that God cares. I don't quite understand like why God moves the way he does and why he you know works the way he works. I just know that like you know when he puts things on our hearts and he gives us opportunities, you know, I think we're we're to respond to those and to move to action. Ultimately the invitation in all of this is to join in um, you know, multiple churches coming together to get the job done. Yeah. <laughs>